out into the countryside. Eight years ago, Rob McBride set out on a journey to record the ancient trees on the Shropshire and Herefordshire borders. The self-styled tree hunter from Ellesmere only expected his trip to take, what, a few months, but he's still discovering more and wants to develop Britain's first tree trail to boost tourism in the Midlands countryside. Bob Hockenhart reports. Rob McBride once had a stressful job as a software engineer. Now the beautiful countryside around Offers Dyke is his office. Compared to sitting at a PC uh, day after day and the pressure that that can bring, this is more of a natural environment for us. Rob is recording every ancient tree in and around the dyke for the Woodland Trust. We like to survey the trees to get some idea of the um, age, if we can. There have been charts developed by what I call the tree professors to, to give you uh, an idea of a tree's age. This landscape has some of the best specimens in Europe, trees as old as 3,000 years. It's uncultivated land for century after century. There's a lot of people who believe that trees should have the same status as that bus stop or, or concrete bench in London that's a grade one listed from 1960s. And yet we've got 500,000 year old trees that we're finding that don't have this level of protection. One of Rob's favorite trees is the Brompton Oak near Cherbury. It stood outside the Bluebell pub since the 18th century. Here it is in 1889. The pub's landlady, Helen Jones, now 81, has lived here all her life and would hate to see it disappear. I've, I've tried to stay alive to make sure it stays alive. <laughs> they are intrinsically linked with man and the culture of man and trees is intertwined over millennia. Year on year, the number of tree diseases in this country has been growing. So, on his journey, Rob is also the eyes and ears of scientists, reporting back any symptoms. One day, Rob hopes his tree hunt will be an official tourist trail. Meanwhile, he has 50 miles of uncharted territory to go. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Shropshire. Funny enough, I knew Rob when he was a police officer, special branch, obviously. And so to our fantastic...